<laughs> uh oh, I got some information that NVIDIA really doesn't want you to hear. So let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is a powerful online platform from which you can create your website fast and easy. Connect with your audience and generate revenue through members only content, manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights all in one easy to use platform. Not only that, but Squarespace allows you to truly create an online community through the use of its powerful blogging tools, ability to display social media posts right on the website, and extensions to help you manage inventory, promote products and streamline bookkeeping. So if you're interested in a great website creation tool and you'll want to support the channel, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash graphically challenged to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So what we're about to discuss in today's video is something that NVIDIA would absolutely love if it just stayed within this community and didn't reach anybody else because the information is going to be very, very useful for buyers, but it's going to be something that NVIDIA is going to absolutely hate if you actually know. So of course, if you could, it would be really, really helpful if you would share this video with your friends, leave a comment, leave a like, because I think it's really, really important that buyers have a lot more information when the RTX 40 series drops so they don't end up getting screwed over. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get right into this. So if the leaks are true, it looks like NVIDIA is gearing up to try and screw buyers over by pushing the boat out on prices yet again, but they're going to be in for a rude awakening because I don't think it's going to work this time. Now, the reason why I say they're going to try and screw you over again is because the current leaks suggest that not only will the RTX 4090 be absurdly expensive, possibly as much as $2,000, but to make matters worse, it looks like they're trying to release two RTX 4080s, a 16 gigabyte and 12 gigabyte version, and essentially what it looks like they're going to be trying to do is make it look like the 80 class isn't increasing in price, but what they're really doing is basically renaming an RTX 4070 to a 4080 and then jacking up the price of the real 16 gigabyte 4080 way up, probably to a thousand dollars plus. But I don't think it's really going to work, and here's why. Now, the first reason as to why I believe Nvidia's schemes aren't going to work nearly as well as they're hoping is because, well, mining is essentially dead. I mean, the main cryptocurrency that people were mining, Ethereum, it moved to proof of stake recently, and after that that happened, yeah, everything went through the floor. In fact, not only are you not making any money mining on any GPUs anymore, you're actually losing money. I mean, if we go ahead and take a look at this Tom's Hardware article, we can see here that yes, indeed, basically nothing is making any money whatsoever. We can see the 3090 Ti is losing 31 cents per day. The 3090 apparently is making 4 cents per day, so hey, you could break even in 22,433 days. Woo! Let's go, baby! Uh, yeah, the 3080 Ti losing 11 cents. The 30 80s losing a cent. I think you get the idea. These things are never going to break even, and I don't think that's going to be changing anytime soon. And in fact, Tom's Hardware had this to say about their article. Quote, the information below was taken on 8-16-2022. Since then, potential profitability has dropped even more. At present, almost no GPUs are showing net positive results after accounting for power costs, with most showing losses of at least 10 cents per day, and that's with a relatively low electricity price of 10 cents per kilowatt hour. So that's absolutely crazy and honestly guys, this is even more drastic than I was thinking was going to even happen. In fact, I was expecting the profitability to drop, but for basically every single card to not be making any money whatsoever is definitely going to be great news for gamers because a lot of gamers will remember that during the great shortage well, a big reason as to why you couldn't buy these graphics cards was because there was a lot of people snapping up GPUs to go ahead and mine this cryptocurrency known as Ethereum. So now that it's not profitable whatsoever, all these GPUs are going to be showing up on the secondhand market. And I think this actually brings me to my main point, which is NVIDIA is going to have a really tough time selling their new GPUs at way higher prices if all of their previous gen GPUs are going to be available for like half or maybe even like a quarter of their original launch MSRP, especially when you take a look at a card like the RTX 3090 Ti. I mean, that thing launched at 2000 US dollars and it should have never cost that much money. And nowadays you can find it for around $1,000. And honestly, guys, as the days and weeks go by, I do expect that cards like the 3090 Ti especially after the RTX 40 announcement, are going to continue to drop. And you could end up being able to purchase a 3090 Ti for like, I who knows, maybe even like $600 or less, which is going to be absolutely crazy. And at that price point, when you compare it to the new RTX 40 series cards, if the price to performance of those cards isn't going to be as good as you're hoping, well, then it actually might be a better idea to go ahead and buy a previous gen RTX 30 series card on a place like eBay. Now, do keep in mind, if you do choose to go ahead and buy a used GPU, make 
make sure that it's still covered by warranty. But if you do so, hey, I think that buying one of those cards is going to be a great idea. And I think that's what the smart gamers are going to end up doing. You know, there are still going to be those people who want to go ahead and get a new level of performance. And for those people, hey, you know what? Do what you want to do because, yeah, the RTX 4080 and 4090 are going to bring insane levels of performance if you're someone who just needs more raw performance than anything that's currently out on the market. But for those people out there who are just looking for a great deal, which is going to be the majority of gamers, yes, buying a used RTX 30 series card is going to be an absolutely fantastic idea. And I do expect the GPU prices are going to continue to plummet. And speaking of GPU prices, I've been keeping track of them, guys. And it's looking absolutely crazy. So if we go ahead and we take a look at my chart where I've been keeping track of the RX 6600 through 6900 XT and 3060 through 3080 12 gigabyte, we can see here that all the way back in April, Nvidia started off with an average price of $815. Nowadays, you can find them on eBay for $448, which is absolutely insane and nearly half the price of where they were not too long ago. And likewise, if we take a look at AMD, we can see that they started off at a new price of $742 all the way back in April. And if we fast forward to today, you can actually find them on the used market on average for $380. So once again, about half the price of where they once were. And it looks like if you actually take a look at the chart, originally there was a pretty steep decline, then it kind of slowed down for a little bit. And now once again, it looks like we're seeing yet another steep decline. And again, I expect this is gonna continue. So after the RTX 40 series becomes available, yeah, a lot of people are gonna sell, even gamers, their cards on places over like eBay. So you're going to have the double whammy of miners and gamers all offloading their GPUs on eBay. And I think this is going to be the biggest GPU dump we have ever seen. So basically what I want to tell you guys, just to wrap this whole video up, is that if you're looking forward to the RTX 40 series, again, if you're looking for a new level of performance, hey, that's great. And those cards are going to be absolutely fantastic. But do remember that NVIDIA is going to be trying out, at least according to the leak, some new schemes such as trying to push up the price of the RTX 4080. And if you don't need the level of performance of an RTX 40 4080 and you can go just a little bit lower something like 3090 ti you know 3080 ti something around there i think you're gonna be much much better off just waiting a little bit and taking a look at the whole ebay scene because i think it's going to continue to absolutely plummet and that's where you're going to want to be picking up gpus very very soon you really don't have to wait very long it's a matter of days at this point guys where you are going to see probably some of the lowest prices you will ever see on gpus whatsoever so that's going to be your option that's what nvidia doesn't want you to know they don't want you to know that the rtx 30 series is going to be a great option for you to buy instead and that's actually what i'm going to recommend for the majority of gamers but hey that's just what i think are you going to be buying a brand new rtx 40 series card or are you going to be buying a dirt cheap rtx 30 series card let me know your guys thoughts in the comments below and of course i'll see you in the next video if you made it to the end of the video be sure to drop a like Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.